Well, what's up everybody? It's an interesting time to make some videos. Why? Because Las Vegas is technically kind of on lockdown. Yay, Corona. Anyway, so I'm going to make a video about one of the things that I've seen and read a lot about, but no one actually has put videos up. And that's having the ability to add a hotkey using the Stream Deck to mute your mic in the Xbox console companion app. Now, as far as I know it, Windows 10 does not allow for this in any way, shape, form, or fashion uh, without having something separate like a Stream Deck. And I think because it's one of the inputs that allows me to do this. Now, for this process, I'm using Voice Mod Pro and Voice Mito Banana. A lot of people use Potato, but I'm using Banana, so let's get to the tutorial. All right, first things first, I am using Voice Mod Pro. I think it's one of the best bangs for the buck. If you're talking about a lifetime subscription, I believe it's like $13, and you cannot beat that. Why? Because it's an effects changer that allows you to take the effects off as well, have complete control over all the volumes, and has a built-in reduced background noise, aka a noise gate. That's huge. Why? Because as the plugin, you can now use this on any software that you add to your computer. And as long as you have Voice Mod Pro running as your microphone, you get a built in noise gate. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I don't even use Noise Gator anymore because I just use this. First things first, after you have Voice Meter Banana and you have Voice Mod Pro, you go into the settings of your Voice Mod Pro, right? And for your input devices, as you can see here, what you'll do is you'll assign it the voice meter output, audio voice meter bio. Not the aux bio, but the regular bio. Your output devices will be just what you hear, and it'll usually be either bio or speakers or default, whatever you choose. But it's so if you click this option to hear your voice, you'll be able to hear that. Okay? Important though, input devices, voice meter output bio. Now, I'm gonna go back to the regular thing. We don't really need this right now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide over our voice meter banana aspect, right? What you'll notice here is that my input is the line in. Now, I use the Shure SM7B. I'm running it to a mixer, and that mixer is being ran into a line in back into my streaming rig. However, on this input, I'm able to push out the sound to the voice meter bio by activating B1. So when I activate B1, this is what sends everything out to the voice meter, I'm sorry, to the voice mode pro, voice mod pro. Sorry, this thing just kind of caught me off guard. Get your ass out of here, go away. <laughs> 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 and I'm not even editing and I'm not gonna edit that out get your ass out of here guns all right cool so back to the video now that's sending that out and then I will go into my actual console companion app notice that my speakers are what I hear my party through but it's the virtual cable and the virtual cable is my input three the reason it's input three so I can adjust the volumes send it out to my headset and make sure it's comfortable for me no matter if the game is loud or quiet they're all one level and then the microphone itself is the voice mod plug-in okay now you can see here that my voice is being activated inside the party if I were to turn off B1 you'll see that it goes away. See that? Perfect. All right, now we're back here and let's get to the nitty gritty of muting those things using the hotkey. All right, now this works well, of course, and primarily what the source of this video is about is using your stream deck. I can't really rave enough about this thing and the amount of things you're able to do with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and then show you this. Now for me, what you'll see here is what I have labeled as the hard mute. Okay, and all that does is it is just a button for my voice mod to just turn it off. So when I activate the hard mute, you'll notice it's essentially like pressing the B1. Now, in my stream, see here? The stream is actually able to still hear me, hear me completely fine. So just that button alone would allow me to talk to the stream but without talking to my friends in the party. 
Okay. But I have a couple of different things here that I can show you and the opportunities and options for it. Now, this right here says mod off and the reason it says mod off because I have my mod mic as an input inside my stream. So if I wanted to add any one of those effects onto my stream, I could do it by just pressing the mod button and turning the mod mic on and muting the Shure SM7B. And it's on a toggle as well. So when it does one, it does the other. Um, and I just, I had it set up before that way. But I've done it with two separate buttons. So if I press the str stream only button, what happens here is that my stream can hear me in the Shure SM7B mic. But what also happens is that the entire input of my microphone is now muted. So it won't get any of that volume if I have this running anywhere else. Okay. That for me, I really enjoy because if I just want to talk to the stream for sure, no matter what, and guarantee that I'm not hearing anything else inside the party or they're not hearing it in my regular tone, that's a perfect way for you to do it. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my next setting, which is called the open mic. Inside the open mic, what's happened here is that my party can now hear me as noted here. The stream can hear me, but they can now hear the mod mic, which means that if you guys are hearing this, you heard a little bit more compression in the voice and a little bit more suppression of background noise. So it may cut off a little bit, but what you'll also hear would be something like some effects. Right now, you should be hearing an echo. Right now, you should be hearing like a deep voice. Right now, you could be hearing a megaphone. And right now, you could definitely be hearing something like a chipmunk voice. Right? But if I wanted to just do that, and by the way, my friends in the party will hear all these same effects as well. So it affects both the stream and also the friends of the party. But I have another multi-action folder. I have another multi-action folder here. And it's called no effects. Did you notice when I pressed that, this is what happened. The mod mic went to mute automatically. The sure SM7B and my natural voice came all the way back. All in one swoop of that. So I think that's really nice, a great way for you to use and activate a couple of those different things. Um, but most importantly, it's because people have been looking for a way to use the Xbox console companion app while they're streaming, get the best quality out of their microphones. But if they're streaming with their friends, they want to be able to mute themselves and talk to their stream, but without their friends hearing them. So these are a few different options and ways that you can use this. And I hope that I really helped you guys out with something, uh, specifically those who have a setup that's very similar to mine. If you think this video is helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, for sure, comment in the bottom, and I'll try to respond to you guys the best way I can. This is JT, and I'm out. See ya.